In this video, we shall investigate the ability for Voxel Vision PX4 to relocalize itself using fiducial markers or April tags. So we have two windows open here, both of which I've SSH'd into Voxel. And let's take a quick look at the debug options that we have available for Voxel Vision PX4. There's two that we're going to use in this video. One of them is debug fixed frame, which is going to print out the uh, relative position of the local frame from the visual inertial odometry, which is sent to PX4, relative to the fixed frame, which is determined by April tags. We can also print out uh, the odometry in fixed frame. This is not what's sent to PX4, but it does help us uh, to debug the output and make sure that we've configured the April tags correctly. So let's see our current April tag configuration. If we open Voxel Vision PX4's configuration file, we can see what we currently have set up. Okay, so things to note in this file is that we have fixed frame enabled, which is going to allow Voxel Vision PX4 to pick up April tags that it's seen in its tracking camera, and then pass through this list of known fixed April tags. Each tag must be configured by you, the user, with its ID, its rotation relative to the fixed frame, and its position relative to the fixed frame. Do note that while well, fixed frame uses the same coordinate system as uh, local frame, which is uh, x forward, y to the right, and z down, uh, April tags do not use this convention. Instead, they have x to the right, uh, y uh, down if you're looking at the frame, and then z goes into and out the back of the April tag. So if we have a tag sitting flat on the four, this is the general rotation matrix that you will use, such that uh, looking straight on at the April tag will line up with fixed frame. Now, this tag ID1 is the one that we're going to use for this experiment. So let's start Voxel Vision PX4 with the uh, debug odometry fixed option enabled. Currently I have no April tag in front, we will see that it's just going to default to the, uh, the position and rotation in local frame until it sees an April tag. So we're starting with X and Y is zero, and the center of mass of the drone is currently uh, 0.13 meters up above the ground due to the long landing here. I'm going to move the drone up about a meter just to show that this is working and then I will put it back down again. This uses the NED coordinate frame, such that roll pitch and yaw are all positive about the respective X, Y, and Z axes. So if I yaw the drone to the right, we will see that yaw goes up to about one radian. And if I move it to the left, it will go up about to minus one radian. Now we'll put it back down on the ground. And I'm going to open up the uh, camera so you can see what this is looking at when I um, put an April tag in front of it. So in this window, which is SSH'd into Voxel, I'm gonna start the uh, Voxel Cam ROS node. We're going to start the tracking slave launch file, which is going to run the tracking camera in slave mode since Voxel Vision PX4 has already opened and initialized the camera in master mode. Now that that ROS node has started, we can run RQT image view on my desktop and see what we're looking at. So as you can see, there's no April tag in front and the drone is roughly at 000 where it initialized. Now I'm going to put an April tag in front of the drone and it's going to relocalize based on that position. Now if I pick the drone up, 
it can see the tag and now our uh, translation from body with respect to the fixed coordinate frame is going to be relative to wherever that tag is. It has a low pass filter so uh, slight noise in the measurement of the tag uh, will get filtered out as it moves around and it also does quality control to make sure that it's only picking up and using good uh, tag detections. Now if I place the drone up about a meter onto my desk and then move the tag over out of the sunlight, it's currently picking up the tag. And if we move the tag and therefore the fixed coordinate frame to the right, we will see now the uh, estimated yaw of the system has now become negative. That's because the x-axis of our fixed frame is now pointing out this direction of the tag. And so relative to this fixed frame, the drone is now uh, yawing to the left or negative. I can now twist this around. So the tag is pointing left and now you'll see yaw increases uh, to a positive value since the new x-axis for the fixed frame is pointing out this way. The same can be seen in the uh, translation of the body. Right now, the drone thinks that it is uh, about one meter above the fixed frame. If I now move the April tag up, you can see the Z now decreases to about 25 centimeters, which is where I'm holding it. The warnings that you're seeing on the screen right now, saying that roll and pitch are out of bounds, is because the, uh, the system is expecting the April tag to be sitting flat on the ground. Uh, as I hold the tag, it's no longer flat, and these are picked up as uh, invalid detections, so the user is warned that the tag is not uh, flat on the ground as it is expected, and those detections are ignored uh, to prevent erroneous behavior. Now, let's stop the ROS node and investigate another debug output. Let's now look at the debug fixed frame option, which is going to spit out the um, the translation to and from local and fixed frame. So now we'll see the translation of the fixed frame with respect to local frame and local frame with respect to fixed frame. Now PX4 is always sent visual odometry in local frame, which is the output from uh, the visual inertial odometry system, and then any uh, waypoints are then converted between these two frames uh, before being sent to PX4.